Bali is not about rules. We have to aim higher. Rudy, you dream of a world that isn't this one. He has to go to Soviet Union. They're trying to kidnap me. Rudy, you have to say what you want. What's your name? I want to be free. Why do you feel like now is the right time to tell this story to the world? I think there are three films at the moment that are about the difficulty of the Cold War. And I think it's, um, you know, obviously um, there's a German film called Never Look Away. There's another film called Cold War. And they're all on that same subject that if you made your, if you were born behind the Iron Curtain, it was almost impossible to be happy within that society, but it was also impossible to be happy outside it. And Nureyev paid an incredible price for defecting to the West. It's so vulgar and silly to say he leapt to freedom, and because he leapt to capitalism, he was happy. In the film, I have him say, you know, I will never go back to my own country, but I will never be happy in yours. And that's what he felt. He paid an incredible price for defecting. And yes, he was able to pursue his art, and that was the most important thing in the world to him. Uh, but his family paid a terrible price, and he paid a terrible price in his um, own personal unhappiness. We told not to speak to foreigners, not to go out with them. Socialists only. Aren't you frightened? What can they do? Can they arrest me? No, but when you get back home, can they make your life difficult? Rudy! Where are you and the film does address um, Nureyev's sexuality. Sure. But it doesn't pry on it too much. How did you find that line of what to show and what not to show? Well, he was involved in a sort of um, relationship with his ballet teacher's wife, and he was seduced by Xenia, and so he was living in this extraordinary ménage à trois where Alexander Pushkin, who was sort of implicitly, probably, quietly gay, was kind of in love with him. But he was meanwhile <laughs> sleeping with his teacher's wife. And the three of them were living together in this absolutely tiny room. So this obviously was delicious. But meanwhile, he was beginning to have his first serious affair with a young East German ballet dancer. And so I wanted his sexuality to emerge. I wanted not to make a great song and dance about it, but for you to slowly understand that actually he could only be um, fulfilled, really with men and that he was much happier having relationships with men. But I wanted the audience to discover that the way he discovered it as he went along. For sure. And considering that a lot of the film takes place in Russia and will, for sure, uh, appeal to a Russian audience, um, the country doesn't have a great record on LGBTQ rights. Was this something that was in your mind when creating the film that perhaps you should have to tone that down a little bit? No. It, was, I, 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 it would be true to say that we did encounter hostility on that subject from, from the Russian authorities. And they were um, very, and still are, nervous of the film because of that. They disliked the myth, myth of Nureyev, many Russians disliked the myth, myth of Nureyev for two reasons. First of all, because he defected from the Soviet Union, and so he's chiefly known as someone who left the Soviet Union. And secondly, because he was homosexual, and because there is this huge um, blanket of silence about that subject in Russia, uh, even today. And so because of that, uh, yeah, there, it is true that the Russian authorities would have preferred us not to include uh, what we wanted to, but you know, we just said how it's absolutely impossible. You know, we're, we're going to be truthful about this man. You know, you can't pretend, and so um, they have to live with it, really. Yeah, I think that's incredible. Um, and I know Nureyev sadly died of AIDS-related complications at quite a young age. Um, was it always your intention to focus on? the rise and the success of him yeah. rather than the end. I, I only wanted to make a film, and Rafe only wanted to make a film, about the making of a dancer. What we wanted to show was how hard he worked. He worked harder than anybody else. So people talk about Nureyev's genius, but his genius was a genius for application. He just, and also he was open to everything. He was open to all the other arts. We tried to show how much he was influenced by the, by the visual arts, by music, by theatre. He wanted to be everything and do everything. And that openness to life is what made him a great dancer.
as he says, it's, it's not just technical, it's about telling a story. And he could only know what story he wanted to tell by educating himself in the arts because he came from such a deprived background. And that's an inspiring story, I hope. Yeah. The later years is a different story, but it's not one I wanted to tell. I'm a peasant from the Soviet Union. Boy born on train. I have an obligation to show the world I'm the best. They call me White Crow.